Sexual harassment takes center stage in Springfield today as a new inspector general begins her first day on the job. CBS 2 Susanna Song is live with a look at how lawmakers are hoping to clean up the Capitol. Susanna, good morning. Good morning, Aaron. And several proposals will be introduced in Springfield today, including Mike Madigan's sexual harassment training and Jim Durkin's hotline to report abuses. Now, this topic became more urgent after the General Assembly finally named an inspector general Saturday to handle ethics complaints. The office sat empty for more than two years. Chicago attorney Julie Porter was temporarily assigned this post, and among the 27 complaints to tackle is the high profile sexual harassment case involving victims rights advocate Denise Rothheimer who alleged last week that state senator Ira Silverstein harassed her for 18 months. Now Governor Rauner blamed the Democrat controlled legislature for ignoring this vacancy for so long. The problems that exist when, when an office like this has been vacant for so long is this this notion that people's voices are not being heard. Now we need to be aggressive about this and make sure that we um, work against sexual harassment, identify it and prosecute it where appropriate in, in all forms. Now, Porter, who is a former assistant U.S. attorney, will serve until June, but she hasn't ruled out that she could accept this job for a longer period. Reporting live along the lakefront, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Aaron. Susanna, thank you.